Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome to Destiny 2 Adventure Time, where we're going through every adventure side activity in the game. We're still at Titan, the uh, fancy moon of Saturn, right next to my buddy Zer here, who's uh, an agent of the Nine, the salesman who can uh, give us all sorts of fancy weapons and armor every weekend, so uh, kind of gives you an idea when I'm recording this. But, uh, yeah, just a, a little sip uh, behind the scenes. Ooh, those, those servitors are back. Let's just do that first before we uh, start doing anything else. Because I want my loot. Yeah, bye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just open up my uh, loot box here. Thank you very much. That got me another engram because I leveled up. But that's not what we're here for, although I am going to take this legendary engram as well. That's... thank you very much. So we're here for the final adventure on Titan, because sadly there are only three adventures on Titan. I'm going to just open up this new box right over here. Might say that I'm a little bit addicted to those. But the final adventure is right down here right next to, uh, well, the path we took towards the Arcology last time, and it's called Deathless. Clear out the night that's keeping Sloan crews from their work. Good, it's you. I'm getting reports from Holiday's crews about a night with a strange aura around it. It's playing merry hell with our schedule. My crews know how to get her done, Sloan. Regular maintenance is the difference between a sparrow that races and a sparrow that rests. Sure, but this rig isn't winning any races. That night is in my way. Take it out. That night is in our way. What can a, a single night do that it's so disruptive? I mean, because Sloan herself is also a titan. You can see that from her uh, fancy armor. Her fancy blue armor, okay? So white shields usually mean they're invincible. Because we've seen that on the European dead zone as well. So I can't do anything against that. Takul da, the unbreakable. Eliminate the knight. I can't do anything about that right now. Where's he going? Do we need to fire at him somehow? Okay, Jesus! Necromancer. Oh, now he lost his shield. There we go. What the hell is that? Look out the night, but I'm not sure it's dead. Some kind of magic allowed it to escape. New hive spells. Just what we need. Get after it, you two. This is just irritating. Now I know how the Cabal feel about us. I'm <laughs> Keep after him. Their spell can't keep that thing safe forever. So the wizard just takes care of the shields. And he has kind of a soul. So every time we kill him, he just pops out and searches for a new body or something like that. Look, oh, what do yeah, we there it is again. Kill this thing. There it is again. Oh, and there it goes again. That is cool. I love the comment that the ghost made about, I know how the Cabal feel about us now. Because, of course, Guardians keep coming back to life as well. I mean, that's only fair since they have seemingly unlimited numbers. So, uh, I don't think they mind that much. You're gonna die as well? Yeah, there we go. Didn't think so. So let's follow the knight again, because I'm really intrigued about this, uh, I've deathless been knight. I've for... well, longer than I want to admit. This is some kind of ritual. They're losing on purpose? Like, what? Throwing a hand of poker? Maybe. What's their goal, though? Why let this thing die over and over again? I'm just standing still because it kind of... I don't feel like I know this area. This might be something new as well that I haven't seen yet. Festering Halls. Might be part of one of the strikes, but I don't recognize it immediately, especially in this darkness. What it does look like is... It kind of looks like one of the the PvP maps from Destiny 1. But I'm hesitating now. Doubting myself. 
Okay, so there's the wizard he made himself known already. He should be hiding. Since, you know, the knight is right over here. But even though they told us that they want to have this knight killed time and time again. So that is interesting. But why? So now he's vulnerable. So that's... There we go. All right, that's three. Slow, do you want us to keep going? If this is the ritual, then all of this is leading somewhere. I want the two of you there at the end, whatever that looks like. Okay, hi. I want you two there at the end. I don't recognize this area. This is peculiar. This is quite a large area to just hide behind a single adventure. This is looking... Om, om, ominous? What the hell? There's a big worm behind here. This is creeping me out a bit, okay. A lot of skeletons and maggots on the floor. Okay. Again, as I said before, I really like the graphical design of Destiny and the ideas behind it. Ooh, we're getting in real zombie territory here. But I do like that. There we go. Might want to visit Sloane in a second. That looks like it's important. Sounds like we're below... Because this area kind of looks familiar now, although those locks don't. Interact with the locks. Oh god! The high security system woke up. So that was what I was seeing on the map probably, because there's another one, yeah, there. But it's behind the shield. A row of trolls can deal with that easily. So behind the shield here, there's another... Oh, it's not a shield. It's definitely not a shield. Holy shit, he almost got me there. What was that acolyte in the back doing? He was glowing green. Or was he just charging up a fireball? There we go. Where's the... Okay, two out of three seals broken. Seems like there's one more, yeah, shrieky over there. Just wanna hide here before I pop out and kill the shrieker because he's the most annoying enemy here. There we go. That's a third seal probably, yeah. Here we go, pathway cleared. And keep following the night. I love the epic music in the All background. Right. Wow. One more time. What the hell is this? This looks... Oh yeah, that was a bit of a graph... That, that wizard just died because he got stuck in the, in the scenery there. There goes one wizard. And goodbye. You were right, Sloan. Buy enough firepower, and apparently even hive magic breaks. Good work, both of you. You know, Holiday and I were just talking about how different we are from the hive. Yeah, yeah. They worship death, we serve the light, good versus evil, black hats and white hats. <laughs> really makes you think. Thinking about switching sides, Amanda? Oh, no. Amanda goes rogue, and we'll have Thrall buzzing the control center inside of a week. <clears throat> but uh, let's get back to work. Okay then. So this is interesting. I have I don't think I've ever been to this area before, and it seems to keep going. So I might have. But this ooh, <laughs> this looks gross. And this seems to be like another doorway, but I can't access it right now. 
So yeah, that was another interesting adventure and it looks like I'm stuck now. <laughs> okay then, but uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And I think that's actually it for the adventures on Titan itself. So uh, next time we're going to be heading towards Nessus, our next destination. But before that, I'm going to take a little break. So uh, thanks again enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Before you showed up, this place was one weird hive ritual away from sliding into the ocean. Now look at it. They'd just as soon scurry back under a rock than face you again. Makes me miss being in a proper fire team. Well, so thank you, Sloan. you need a titan by your side. Maybe someday. Commander Zavala told me to hold the line at Saturn, and I never let the boss down. I'll be watching your back from this end. Don't let up out there. Oh, thank you, Sloan. I didn't actually realize that we got a, rep or a recommendation like that if we uh, completed the adventure, so... Uh... Yeah, it's a nice touch at the end of the episode, so uh, thank you, Sloan.